and welcome to Cosmic Soul Whisperer. Today's live, we're going to talk about dealing with the fear of the unknown. We're going to do this uh, through eight new portals of uh, sound transformation with us and I'm going to introduce you to them today. So this is the first one. This bowl is called the Moon Bowl and uh, all of these are handcrafted singing bowls. Um, whenever you see this sign on a singing bowl, uh, that's the sign that this was crafted with a special ceremony during a full moon and it brings with it at least three chakra healings and I also have a set of all chakra uh, healing through the singing bowls and I'm going to play with them uh, for you the very first time and uh, with us today as usual as always we have a beautiful white dragon we have our golden dragon I know you can't see her in her den <laughs> they are of all genders uh, and and my lovely mother father god Saiba <laughs> So, um, oh, and that's also a painting that I made recently. Uh, my, my friend coach Guy challenged me to go out and do something new and interact with more people uh, because sometimes I can just uh, restrict myself to being at home. So I went out and I explored um, painting. So that's going to be my story for today. When I started on this journey of light language and sound healing, I decided that I needed to stay with myself for a while. A lot of the socializing that I was doing, I was going out every week, I was, uh, um, I was attending plays, I was going for dances uh, twice a week and I was doing all of these extroverted things and when this happened to me, I completely moved inwards and uh, with that I kind of started to grow a fear of the unknown if I met people. Um, the, the, the fear came from the, the fact that every time I have an upgrade, a spiritual upgrade, um, my world changes. The people around me change, my cities change, uh, my jobs change, uh, everything around me changes. And I was really scared uh, of uh, constantly changing that and letting go of these new people that I interact with. Uh, and I'm sure that in your own spiritual journey, you have encountered this as well, that when you are going through a massive spiritual upgrade, uh, you notice that you, the way you interact, the way you uh, relate to the world that you knew as your world changes. Uh, the people, the situations, the dynamics, and uh, even the places. And that's what, what happened to me two months ago when I just started uh, sound healing with all you people. And uh, for me, the fear of the unknown was to go out and interact with people and make new friends. Uh, not just uh, go back to my comfort zone and uh, you know talk with the people who already like me and uh, where I already feel safe. So that was my challenge. And so I, in, I signed myself up for uh, an art session. I'm not a professional painter, but as, you, as you've seen on my account, um, I channel light language through art. So um, I keep the colors in front of me, just as I do with sound, and then I just start playing with them. And then when uh, I'm, I'm done with the paint part, um, some sound codes, uh, some light codes start coming in, some ancient symbols start coming in and I put them through. So uh, that is all in an absolute surrender. But I don't really uh, have any formal training in doing any form of painting. So I went to this class, will it be a comfortable session? Will I still continue to stay in my skin or will I start shape shifting and you know, trying to adapt for other people so that uh, it's either comfortable or, it, or they like me. Um, I'm really being vulnerable. <laughs> and uh, so I stepped in there and uh, everybody started looking at a picture that they were going to paint. And I told them, I'm a beginner, I don't know what to paint. Uh, I was feeling less confident and you know, I was saying all these things from there. And uh, then I saw a father and daughter 
I, I saw uh, two friends, two girlfriends, and one of them wanted to paint a photograph uh, and gift it as an anniversary gift to her partner. Uh, and then I saw a couple, and uh, uh, I was just surrounded by these lovely people uh, who had come because they enjoy each other's company, and so that already relaxed me. Uh, I am, uh, let's say, a comfortable introvert. <laughs> So uh, I started painting and my fear of the unknown really vanished when I surrendered myself in the flow of that moment. In that moment, when I was fully in the now, when I was fully in my own energy, suddenly things started to flow. The people who were there in the group with me, um, they started walking around and uh, they started seeing everybody's painting. They also saw what I was doing and you know they, they initiated interaction and um, I just had to reciprocate I just had to receive uh, so I started receiving and uh, from that moment it just became absolutely magical in that one and a half hours of her painting session I came up with this uh, and everybody's painting was fabulous so that was my story of how to deal with the fear of the unknown I dealt with the fear of the unknown this week and I wanted to share that story with you. I hope that you're able to relate to it in some way in your own life. And uh, now let's uh, get into the healing part. If you like, you can uh, write in the chat what intention you hold or what fear do you want to let go uh, today through this sound healing. And if you're listening to the recording, just make a note of the fear that you want to let go. And it's okay if it changes or transforms as you're doing the healing or more fears may come in for you to remember and work on or you might feel nothing at all um, everything is perfect i will also set an intention for us the intention for today's session is any fear of the unknown becomes absolute joy and allows us to flow and surrender and enjoy the process as much as we think we will enjoy the destination. Uh, I can see that the white dragon is helping us with this. She's cocooning us. She, he, they are cocooning us with their two mighty wings. And when a dragon covers us with her wings, with their wings, there is not a space where, where there's not a photon that can enter or go out. We are so beautifully cocooned and protected. So think of yourself in this beautiful cocoon and allow yourself to receive this beautiful sound healing. Let's see what comes through. Each sound is for each of your chakras. As you hear these sounds, allow the vibrations to merge with your body, merge with your energy centers, and they all know what to do. Our bodies are supremely intelligent, cosmically intelligent.
Imagine that you are looking ahead at a huge gate. This is a gate made of metal and is double your height and 10 feet wide. It's an early morning time and the first ray of the sun starts to filter through the gaps between this gate. As you come closer, you start releasing with both your hands, anything that holds you back, any fears that you imagine you have. As they say, fear is false evidence appearing real. Let all these evidences your brain has collected go and allow your heart to just flow. Get another step closer towards the gate and imagine what your life would be, what your situation would be, what your relationship would be, if you open that gate without any fear. Everything that you don't know is behind that gate. And it doesn't matter how well you plan, how much you've thought about it, or how much you've worried about it. The gate opens with the energy of your I am when you are aligned and when your vibration matches the vibration of what wonderful things are waiting for you on the other side of this gate. See all the clouds of doubt, all the clouds of worry, release and become nothing. They disappear into ether and transform into happiness and joy. Allow this sound to melt away any worries, any fears that you're still holding on in any part of your body or any of your energy bodies. Now prepare yourself to open this gate because your beautiful destiny, your beautiful manifestation your next step lies on the other side. At your own pace, push that gate. It looks heavy, but it just flings itself open. Take your time whenever you're ready. Fling open that gate and walk into your beautiful, new, fearless, courageous, joyful, high vibrational manifestation. Because you deserve it and because it is the truth.
your higher self, your I am, will give you what is absolutely perfect for you. Whatever gives you joy, whatever you need. Kona. 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 When you feel it's time, gently rub your hands, cup your eyes, come back into your body. Hi Darshan, hi my random thoughts, welcome. I hope that this session helped you go through a fear that has been difficult for you or something that has been holding you back because you're scared of the unknown. We all are and it's only human. And it's also human to find your multidimensional self and bring through your magic and miracles. Thank you so much for being here. For more miracles, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.